A growing number of countries are banning flights from Britain over a new highly infectious coronavirus strain. Many European nations have already announced travel restrictions with the UK. Asian and Middle Eastern countries are following suit. India, Iran and Kuwait have suspended flights to Britain. Turkey and Israel have temporarily banned flights from Britain and other countries where the new strain has been detected. Saudi Arabia is halting all flights and suspending entries through its land and sea ports for at least a week. And China's Hong Kong Special Administrative Region also announced it will ban incoming flights from Britain from Tuesday. Andrew Wilson has more on the new strain and the situation in Britain. Unfortunately, uh, just before the weekend, one of our ministers here used the phrase out of control, and that sparked an extraordinary reaction, not only across the UK, but around the world. This new variant of the virus was discovered or first noticed uh, in September this year, but it wasn't until October that samples were sent away of, of, the, new, of the new virus to have a look at and to uh, take an examination of its uh, behaviors. And then early last week, ministers were informed by scientists that indeed this was about possibly 70% more transmissible than the existing variant of COVID-19. That immediately explained the rise in numbers that we've had, particularly in the southeast of England, and the extraordinary reaction from that. Just to give you an idea, cases of COVID-19 uh, from last weekend to this weekend have doubled in the UK, up to 35,000 new cases just on Sunday alone. This has led to a huge amount of confusion in the transportation sector. Uh, the roads leading into Dover, the main in and out airport of the UK, are completely jammed up uh, with lorries. And now, of course, we've had all these countries around the world pulling out of travel uh, with the UK. Now, that presents enormous problems for our supply structure. Supermarkets are saying we will almost certainly be impacted in terms of deliveries of food. About 70% of our vegetables come from the UK. And as you know, that is a, a last minute arrangement, a just in time delivery schedule. So vegetables crossing the channel today, for example, are due for the shops this evening. So that will certainly be impacted and add to that, of course, the impacts of Brexit uh, and preparations for Christmas with stockpiling in supermarkets. Uh, we could be facing a bumpy ride for the next few days.